Okay, this video is going to cover some basic uh, elements of linear algebra. Uh, so, um, most numerical methods uh, that are solved on computers today have a heavy reliance on um, linear algebra, matrices, vectors, uh, being able to solve linear systems, so on and so forth. Most methods, uh, including the finite element method, uh, in some way, discretize partial differential equations into some form where you get an A, a matrix vector uh, multiplication equal to another vector, a linear system of equations. So it's absolutely essential that we have some basic knowledge of these things. So uh, the first thing I want to just talk about is our uh, some basic nomenclature. So uh, there are lots of ways of sort of representing a matrix. Sometimes we put a little wiggle under it, or other times I'll show it as a Latin um, letter inside of uh, square braces. But really, uh, these denote some rectangular array of numbers. should have had a little more space. This might be, excuse me if this is a little hard to read. Eh. Let me, let me, let me rewrite this again, okay? Let me make it a little bigger. Okay, so this is a matrix, all right? Uh, usually, the actual uh, entities inside the matrix are given by, um, oops, I hope that didn't get all screwed up, um, are given by uh, lowercase letters. This matrix has n rows. Each one of these is a row and it has M columns, M as in Mary. So sometimes we'll denote the dimension of the matrix uh, down here below, okay? So N, the first number is the number of rows, and then the second number is the number of columns. So an N by M matrix, okay? And you can see if we have an entry, uh, a, I, J, this uh, is the entry that goes into the ith row, jth column. So, for example, A, 3, 2 would be in the 1, 2, 3rd row, 2nd column. So it actually would be, if I were to put it, it would be right, it would sit right here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, um, there's two particular uh, cases that I want to talk about for matrices, uh, and these are going to be row and column vectors. So, if you have a matrix that's of dimension, let's say, um, one by M. This is a single row. So you'll have A11, A12, A1M. So you can consider all these things as matrices, but sometimes something like this, uh, since it has a, uh, one dimension or a, of, of value one, could be referred to as a, a row vector. Likewise, we could also have a column vector. Okay, 
where it has m rows but one column. Okay, and this would be a column vector. All right. Usually, if we have row vectors or column vectors, sometimes the notation gets a bit confused. It doesn't explicitly say it's a row or a column vector, but oftentimes we will denote these things uh, with a lowercase letter, like a V, and. Sometimes I use a curly brace to denote that it's a column vector or the square braces to denote that it's a row vector. And usually in this case, you know, this is where you have to be a little careful. Usually it's implied from the context it's in, you know, whether it's being multiplied by a matrix and what the dimension of the matrix is, and we'll talk a little more about that later. But sometimes, you know, if if we know that it's a vector, whether it's a column or a row vector, we don't need to have the two indices. So you might have just v3, in which case v3 is for the column vector. It's going to be uh, v1, v2, v3, right? The third entity in there, or like what if it's a row vector, v1, v2, v3, v4, it would be the third entity in the row vector. So if you know that they're vectors, whether they're column or row vectors, you don't need to explicitly say, hey, you know, here's the second index. Okay, although technically if you think of this as a matrix, this would be uh, v13 for the row vector first row, third column, and here this would be V31, right? Third row, first column. But for vectors we usually kind of ignore that situation. Okay. What I want to talk about next is uh, 